You're watching the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Cristina Marujos, and thank you for joining us at XM.com. The U.S. dollar continued to edge higher on Tuesday, lifted by recovering Treasury yields as demand for safe haven government bonds ebbed after President Trump struck a deal with Mexico over illegal migrants and suspended punitive tariffs. Stocks also extended gains, with the S&P 500 closing higher for a fifth consecutive session, while major indices in China surged after the Chinese government announced measures to boost funding for infrastructure projects. However, with the trade dispute with China still unresolved, gains for risk assets were limited. President Trump yesterday repeated his warning that additional tariffs could be slapped on Chinese imports if no progress is made between himself and his Chinese counterpart, President Xi, at the G20 summit in Japan on June 28th and 29th. China has yet to confirm a meeting between the two presidents, even though Trump told reporters that they are scheduled to talk and to meet. This raises questions about whether such a meeting will go ahead and will likely keep investors nervous until there is some more clarity on what the agenda is for the G20 summit. Soaring expectations that the Fed will be forced to cut rates as early as the July policy meeting have eroded the dollar safe haven appeal, but there could still be some boost for the greenback if the U.S. inflation and retail sales data due this week contradict the picture from last week's NFP report of a slowing economy. With no Fed officials on the calendar this week, there's likely to be some caution to the data as investors await the Fed's updated dot plot chart on their predicted rate path. The pound fell sharply on Monday after UK GDP contracted much more than expected in April, led by a slump in car production, which has been hit hard by the Brexit turmoil. The data increased the prospect that the economy could shrink in the second quarter and further diminished the odds that the Bank of England would raise interest rates over the next 12 months, despite several Bank of England's policymakers hinting a rate hike in recent days. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching us at XM.com.